the formidable robot. July 25, 2005. Tommy and Katie were watching SpongeBob SquarePants when a commotion was heard. It turns out their father, Aaron Pickett, came home in a drunken rage and killed the mom and sister. Tommy managed to escape with Aaron reporting the kid missing. As more and more pieces started to fall, it started to become aware that both Judy and Aaron's relationship was in shambles due to Aaron's drinking and Judy's depression. Judy argued with an unknown detective and stabbed said detective ten times before being sent to the psychiatric ward for psychotic help. For jobs, Aaron worked as an intern at Nickelodeon Studios as an airing technician and Judy worked as a cartoonist in Cartoon Network. To this day, this couple remains dead. That was the story during the events of July 25, 2005. What could be called as a missing person turned manhunt. Police from California and Florida both tried to find the couple, but the couple had since died in separate conditions with Judy dying of a freak accident due to too much shock therapy. Ironically enough, the mental hospital shut down on the day of Judy's death, on October 14, 2005. Aaron however, died due to a police standoff ending with him shot in the head. It was reported that Aaron was driving on I-275 erratically and hitting 10 trucks and cars. An in-law of Judy's side of the family decided to create interruptions of Spongebob episodes because one of the uncles were the TV airing technicians who purposefully edited most of the Spongebob episodes. Now, because of the success of the story that started it all, July 25, 2005, more and more versions of interruptions were shown with varying dates and years. What's the grand theory have I conducted? All of the events from July 25, 2005 up until the last post were all edits from the uncle who purposefully interrupted every episode of Spongebob. The uncle, who goes by Eric Kingsley, would go to the airing room, take the episode and heavily edit each episode. I can prove this because of the screenshot from Filth, especially the entire part, how dare, how fucking dare you. The way it's written makes it sound like Eric is sharing his disdain for when Judy told the parents what happened to the kids and the in-laws exploding on Aaron. Another example that the uncle might have had something to do with the events is the very first screenshot, I wish I can hear your funny voice again. Eric must have missed hearing Katie's voice. Now, where is Tommy? Unfortunately, the dead kid's head from the last post was Tommy's head. How he died isn't known, but most people guess that Tommy was shot by gangsters or creeps. Who knows who shot and killed Tommy? In the end, July 25, 2005 was the pinnacle moment where a certain SpongeBob episode started a snowball of events that ended with a tragic story of a broken dysfunctional family and spawned duplicates or similarity videos. Would there ever be another video about this when July 25, 2024 happens? Who knows? Would I return to this again? I'm hoping not. Is there a truthful end to this story? All you'll need to do is to go back and start from the beginning, there's a saying to this. This may be the end, but this is just the beginning.